Hi guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a summer haul from Another Stories and H&M. So everything will be timestamped in the description bar below so you can skip around to the items you are interested in or you can watch the whole video. There are roughly 15 pieces from Another Stories and less than 5 from H&M. That said, I have pieces that I really love from both shops and I can't wait to show them to you. I feel like these pieces are quite timeless as well, so I can wear for many more seasons to come. For sizing, I am a true UK size 8 that translates to a 34 in another stories. And other stories can be quite confusing because in H&M and Zara, UK size 8 translates to a Europe 36. So long story short, I think I am a 36 bottom in another story, which translates to a UK 10 and a size 34 UK 8 in their tops and dresses. And for H&M sizing, I think it's more straightforward, it's more what we're used to. So UK size 8 is a 36 and it's a size small. So all my items from H&M are small or UK size 8. So just before we get into the clothing, I have one accessories that I got from another story and that is this pro necklace that I'm wearing right now. It's so versatile, it goes with my t-shirt, my blazer, even my summer dress. So this is how it looks. They're irregularly shaped. It has a ring and T-bar closure. So let's start with another stories. I have three dresses. This is my favorite dress of the three. This is a V-cut midi dress with buttoned bodies and a defined waistline. It has a pocket on either side. The material is 100% viscose and all the three dresses are 100% viscose which I find very interesting because this one is the weightiest of the three and I think it feels the most high quality of the three and it flows very elegantly in the wind or with every step you take. I really like this. The next one is a red print short sleeve mini wrap dress. So for this one, I'm a bit disappointed because the material feels a bit cheap, the color isn't that um, complementing to my skin tone and the cut doesn't look that flattering on me. Which is a shame because it looks so nice on the model. Out of the three dresses, I was the most hopeful for this one. The next one is the printed scallop wrap mini dress. I really like the design of this. It's very Parisian. It's a very Cezanne rouge style dress. I like the scalloping detail at the neckline. The only downside to this dress, I would say, is the quality again. The material feels cheap and non-breathable. But otherwise, the cut is very nice. We'll make a nice summer dress. This next piece is a blue floral printed button midi skirt. Very pretty, very versatile summer skirt. The print close-up. There's an outer layer and an inner lining as well. Having the lining makes the dress more flowy and breathable. It doesn't stick to your body, especially in summer, and it gives it a bit more volume as well. I got this skirt in a size 34 and it is way too small for me. The next one is a lilac satin mini skirt. I got this in a size 34 and it is too small, so I can't really comment on this because it doesn't fit. Now we move on to tops. I have several summer blouse that I really love from Another Stories. The first one is a pink summer knit. It is a cable knit cardigan. It is a stretchy material. This is very Parisian and chic. I got this in a size extra small, but if you want a more relaxed fit, especially around the arms, I would recommend sizing up to a size small. The next top is a cream color textured collared puff sleeve top. I think this is again very Parisian, super cute. That's basically my summer goal, Parisian and super cute. This top is made of a mix of linen and mulberry silk. It has a textured finish. I got this in a size 34 and it fits true to size. This is one of my favorite. It is this pink button ruffle lace blouse. This is 100% cotton. It has a scooped neck with ruffle detail. 
It also has a ruffle hem. The sleeve is mid-length with gathered cuff. This is in a size 34 as well. The next one is a very strange top. I got this because the pattern reminds me of childhood. I'm not sure if I had a dress that had similar pattern when I was a kid. First off, it is very thin. It reminds me of rice paper. And I'm not a big fan of large collars. This top is tiny. So that's going back. Next one is a button floral print lace top. This reminds me of the Parisian brand Rouge. It is very similar to the summer blouse they have for half the price. The neckline goes quite low. It gives a nice decolletage. This is 100% viscose in a size 34. I have two sets of bikinis from another stories. The first one is this smocked bandeau bikini top. It comes with removable straps. It's paired with a high waist bikini bottom. The next bikini is this seersucker bandeau bikini top. It has no inserts as well, pairs with a bikini bottom. That's all from another story, so we'll move on to H&M. From H&M, I got two beach cover-up dresses, a pair of bikinis and two sunglasses. The first one is this long beach dress. I got this in a size S. It is made from a viscous blend. It has a deep v-neck and a low-cut back with horizontal ties. It is very sheer, but it is designed to be a bikini cover-up on the beach. This is the other beach dress. I think it's super pretty. I like the low back with the tie detail at the top. This is the sunglasses I'm keeping. This cat eye one I'm returning. Just because I don't need to. I got this padded bikini top. It is a very pretty pastel color. There's inserts. There are no clasp closure at the back, so it's a pullover. The straps are non-removable, but it is adjustable. You can pair the top with this bikini bottom, or this pattern comes in the high-waisted style as well. Hello from three months later. So I've only gotten around to put the video together and I realized I did not film an outro as per usual. So this is a clip to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And I know we are transitioning into the cooler months now, so I hope the items are still on the website. But if not, I just wanted to make the most of the clips I filmed. And I'm currently in Manchester and I did not bring my iPad with me, so there is no animation for this video unfortunately. But they should come back in my next videos. So thanks for watching again and I will see you soon.